Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, for those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. Um, everything you could possibly need is in the description box below. My TikTok, recommended readers, decks used. I haven't I don't think the decks are completely caught up. I have to look into that. Um, my phone number, if you would like to schedule a personal reading, there are scammers pretending to be me. So unless you are talking to me from that phone number, it ain't me, <laughs> okay? Um, other than that, guys, uh, let's go ahead and get popping. These readings can be vice versa. Um, so flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way works for you. It could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through or something someone close to you is going through, okay? Oh, and by the way, I do monthly giveaways on this channel. Um, how to enter to win is super simple. The directions are below. Um, so be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I post the winners on the first of the month on the community page. So keep an eye out for that, okay? All right, my beautiful aquas. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with an or um and then we're gonna get into the actual reading okay so let's get poppy spirit tell me about aquarius please for 2022 tell me about aquarius please sun moon rising and venus signs for 2022 please spirit tell me about aquarius please sun moon rising and venus signs for 2022 please spirit okay so let's see what we have here aqua all right so we've got friendship we have appreciation the end of a tough cycle approaches forgiveness loyal heart and taking steps okay so Aquarius I mean right off the bat I feel like in 2022 there is a situation here where you have been friends with somebody for a long time and I feel like you're coming out of something very negative and this person has stood by your side through thick and thin OK, um, if you've had issues with this person, like if you have had a hard time, Aquarius, and this friend has taken the brunt of this hard time, like if you're angry or upset and you have taken it out on this friend, I feel like there will be forgiveness or Aquarius, it could be an energy where this friend has helped you forgive somebody. And, you know, because something here is obviously coming to a close in your life. So this friend may have helped you forgive somebody. I feel like with loyal heart and taking steps here, let me just put this on silent. Hold on one second. I feel like with loyal heart and taking steps here, Aquarius, you are moving towards somebody that you know that you have a solid friendship with and they're loyal to you. Okay. So you're moving towards this person. Someone here may be 35 years old. Um, you may have met this person on the 15th or some of you may have a 15 year old child. There may be a four year uh, age difference between you and this person. Okay, but I feel very strongly that this is a, a strong friendship and I feel like this is a friend situation that is going to turn into love. I do see something ending though, something that has been quite difficult and quite toxic and this friendship may have even taken the brunt of this, okay? Love yourself first, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Courtship, the stars indecisive i know my inability to make a decision hurts you and we've got cassette outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in your head so aquarius first and foremost i feel that when it comes down to <coughs> 
again, I'm seeing the number four. There may be a four year difference between you and this friend, or it could be that you've known this person for four years or this situation's been happening for four years. But either way, Aquarius, I feel like when it comes down to relationships, you're learning to not be taken advantage of and to put your self-respect first, okay? Because Aquarius... You guys are very loving, you can be very loyal, but you tend to sometimes get taken advantage of because you're such a happy-go-lucky type of energy. Like, you guys will let a lot of things slide, you know what I'm saying, because you're so, like, upbeat about everything. Um, with the stars here, I feel, Aquarius, that you're being divinely guided towards something, but you've been very indecisive. Like, maybe this friend has had feelings for you, you know this person has had feelings for you, but you have been indecisive between this friend person and this other situation that you needed to close out, and it has hurt uh, this friendship, okay? So I feel like Aquarius, this might be you telling this person, I know my inability to make a decision is hurting you. I know you care about me. I know it hurts you to see me suffer. Now, Aquarius, this can be vice versa too. So take that as it resonates. With Cassette here, I feel like, you know, Aquarius, you've been stuck in this cycle where you're replaying the same situation over and over again. So you may have been, especially with the end of a, a tough cycle approaching, Aquarius, you may have been in a situation where you were very on and off with somebody and this friend has been there through thick and thin, but this friend has also been hurt a lot because it's like, I feel like this person has feelings for you. One-sided love. There is a lack of emotional balance, connection, and fulfillment in this relationship. Love and feelings are not being reciprocated. This may pertain to an imbalance of give and take. Aquarius, I feel like one person here is in love and the other person was in a relationship that was very on and off or very difficult, okay? Now, let's see what we have here for shadow work that you should focus on for 2022. We have no knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darkness of other people by Carl Jung. Um, so Aquarius, I feel like spirit is telling you to look within, understand your shadow side, understand the bad parts about you, and that will help you to understand other people's negativity. So I feel like that's for the person that was in that negative relationship, okay? So what part of you, Aquarius, made you stay and be disrespected in that relationship and like it's almost like do you mirror that darkness in that person because that per it's all we could even be talking about a narcissistic relationship and a narcissistic victim what part of you needed to be in that relationship that you got abused in okay or that you got mistreated in so that person, one person was abusive and the other person allowed it. Why? What shadow work do you need to take care of that allows you to be used or mistreated in that way? Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the tarot. Aquarius, I'm sorry if I'm a little out of breath. I'm just getting over COVID and I had pneumonia after COVID and I tend to, I tend to channel quickly. So I get a little out of breath. So just bear with me. Spirit, tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Tell me about Aquarius, please, for 2022, please. Tell me about Aquarius, please, for 2022. Okay. We've got the Ace of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. The Knight of, uh, excuse me, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And then we've got the Justice card in the reverse, Libra, Energy. Okay, so Aquarius. In the months of January and February here, I feel like there's definitely with the justice card in the reverse, someone here is being mistreated, 
okay? With the Knight of Pentacles here, I do feel like it is somebody that is loyal, somebody that is stable, someone that is grounded, somebody that has been along for quite, someone who's been around for quite some time, someone that has been there through thick and thin, and I believe that this is the friend here that's being mistreated. Tell me about this justice card in the reverse. Let me not say mistreated, but someone here is being treated unfairly. We have the Six of Swords and we have the star, Aquarian energy. So, can uh, excuse me, not Cancer, Aquarius. This is somebody that's being treated unfairly and they are wishing and hoping that you leave a negative situation and move to more peaceful waters. This is someone who genuinely, even though they are being hurt in the situation, is hoping that their quote unquote friend moves away from this toxicity and finds something better, whether it's them or not. Now, again, Aquarius, you could be this friend or, you know, it could be someone close to you. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. So in February here, yeah, we've got the Seven of Swords and we've got the Hermit, Virgo Energy. So what we have here is this loyal person that is starting to take a step back and they're starting to analyze the situation. And I feel like this person is starting to realize that they are truly being taken advantage of, okay? I feel like what happens here, Aquarius, is... Somebody's in an unhappy relationship and they go to this friend and they get close to the friend and it, it brings this friend's hope up, hopes up that this person will leave their connection. Okay, so it's like someone here is complaining about their relationship and this friend who's in love gets excited thinking that, oh, wow, okay, maybe this is it. Maybe they'll leave this negative relationship and I'll get a chance, but that doesn't happen. And in January and February, someone here is starting to realize that, you know, I'm here, I'm stable, I always pick up the phone, but, you know, this person is kind of taking advantage of my good heart, okay? Okay. It's funny because we've got the Knight of Swords under the deck, and when I went to place the Knight of Pentacles, I said the Knight of Swords. So it's like one person is very in and out, and you know, like someone gets angry, they call this friend, they complain, they vent, and next thing you know, you don't hear from them for three days because they're off on a weekend vacation with this person that they were complaining about the whole time. Do you understand? And that's, you know, that's ugly for the person that is in love. Tell me about this Page of Swords. For Aquarius. So now coming into March, Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands, I feel like someone here is waking up <coughs> to a very ugly truth. And the ugly truth here is that with the Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands, someone here is only being sought out for one particular reason, okay? I feel like this Queen of Wands energy is very uh, sexy, very beautiful, very independent, very fiery, and very confident, okay? So I feel like this is the friend energy that is starting to come to the realization of you keep coming to me, telling me all your problems, telling me all of these things. You think I'm okay. You think I'm confident. You think I could handle it, but really I can't because I'm in love with you. Do you understand? So I feel like someone here is starting to realize that someone with the strength card is expected to be strong and confident and watch the person that they love not only be hurt, but come and go. Like their hopes go up, their hopes go down. And with the strength card and the six of cups here, I feel like, you know, that six of cups energy, this could be a, you know, a long-term friend, a childhood friend. Tell me about the page of wands here for Aquarius. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy, and we have the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So by April, what we have here, I feel like with the Page of Wands, someone here is pulling back a little bit. Someone here is, you know, talking every so often. It's like communication dies down a little bit. Nine of Pentacles, someone here starts to become more independent from the situation. Like, for instance, when someone here calls to complain about their person, it's not a full-blown conversation anymore. This person's like, oh, yeah, really? 
okay, I'm going to put the phone down, you can vent, and I'm going to go handle something else, right? You know, three of pentacles in the reverse, someone here is starting to realize that I don't want to be a friend, I don't want to be placed in the friend zone, uh, it's not working for me, I don't want to be this third part, I'm not your counselor, I'm not your therapist, I, I don't want this, you know? Um, three of swords, it's becoming too painful for somebody, it's becoming too much heartbreak for somebody. So someone by April is going to start to break free and become independent of the situation. Tell me about this four of pentacles. Tell me about this four of pentacles. The ten of cups and the emperor, Aries, Taurus energy. I feel like by May, by May, someone here is starting to realize that possibly a, they're never going to let go of this relationship. We've got the Emperor and the Ten of Cups. Like by May, it might be hitting somebody that, you know what, you complain a lot, but with the Emperor and the Ten of Cups, you are committed to this relationship. You're never going to let this person go. Or B, by May, what's happening here is someone is holding on Someone here has been holding on to hope and now with the tower, they're releasing it. Like someone has been holding on to hope that this emperor would be theirs and that they would have this 10 of cups and now they're releasing it possibly. Tell me about the ace of cups. Tell me about the ace of cups. Ace of swords and the empress. Okay, so in May, this could be a representation of someone here, because we saw that tower. This could be a representation of someone actually releasing something that they were trying to hold on to. Because Aquarius, now we've got the Emperor to the Empress with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Um, this By May or June, Aquarius, someone here can be realizing who their true counterpart is. Someone here may be waking up to the fact that, wow, you know, this might be my person. With the moon card and the four of wands, perhaps somebody wasn't seeing it before. So what we have here come May or June Aquarius is somebody may be awakening to the strong soul tie. Tell me about Aquarius, please, for 2022. Tell me about Aquarius, please. Okay, we've got the six of cups. We have the seven of pentacles. Ten of Wands in the reverse. <coughs> the Nine of Wands. The High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. And the Five of Swords. So Aquarius, in June and July... With the Five of Swords energy, someone here may be sabotaging a connection, giving up, or walking away from something. Now, the High Priestess could be that someone here is following their higher wisdom, they're following their intuition, or there's some, some secret here that's taking place. Tell me about this Five of Swords for Aquarius. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Eight of Swords. The Death card, Scorpionic energy. Someone here may be breaking free. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Aquarius, someone here may have felt bound to a situation there. You know, Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords, I see that as a tremendous amount of mind games, okay? Manipulation, brainwashing. Um, but with that Queen of Swords energy, someone here is cutting the ties. I see tremendous change come July. Tell me about this High Priestess, please. We've got the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. Come August, Aquarius, I feel that someone here is, how can I put this? They're not uh, unsure anymore. This person with the High Priestess here, they're, they're listening to their higher guides. They're listening to their intuition. With the Magician here, I feel, when I see the magician, the emperor, and the empress, there's a relationship here that has what it takes to make it to the finish line. The magician in a love reading means that there's a relationship here that, you know, the magician has all four suits on it, okay? The sword, the pentacle, the cup, the wand. 
there's a relationship here that has passion, has love, um, has intelligence, understanding, the ability to set goals, and money, okay? Finances, loyalty, stability. And I feel like someone here is waking up to the fact of, I'm not unsure anymore. Do you remember that oracle card that we pulled of, I know my inability to make a decision has hurt you? So by August, someone here is starting to realize, I'm not undecided anymore. I know what I want. Tell me about this Nine of Wands for Aquarius, please. <sighs> Guys, by September with the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Six of Wands, someone here is very happy. Someone here is going to be very, it's, it's almost like there's an energy of winning here. Okay, the sun card, the six of wands, someone here is going to flaunt a relationship. The knight of cups, I see romance, I see love. And with the nine of wands, I feel like someone here is finally tired of a situation. And I see that here with the 10 of wands in the reverse. Someone here is truly completing a cycle. They're letting go of something. They're tired of a situation. Someone here by September, uh, Aquarius wants to just simply go where the love is. So I feel like someone here feels victorious. They feel proud. They feel happy with that sun card here. Tell me about this 10 of wands in the reverse for Aquarius. We've got the five of pentacles and the five of wands. Aquarius, by October, something's being completely let go of. Um, someone <coughs> is tired of the fighting, the jealousy, the competition. Five of pentacles, someone here is being left out in the cold. And with the strength card and the two of swords, someone here is gaining the courage to truly cut something out of their life. So by October, this cycle will be completely closed out where the bad situation ends and the good situation comes in. Tell me about the seven of pentacles here for Aquarius. We've got the page of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and the death card, Scorpionic energy. By November, I feel like there's going to be a conversation here that happens about the past. Someone's going to come in apologizing. With the death card, someone's going to literally be saying, I'm sorry for all the chaos. I'm sorry for mistreating you, for, you know, keeping you on the fence, for coming in and out of your life. I'm sorry. With the death card, there is change here. Something has fully ended and I want to start something new. Six of cups here for Aquarius. We've got the ace of pentacles and we have the four of swords. So Aquarius... And the Six of Pentacles. So Aquarius, by December, I feel like that Six of Cups is a past life soulmate. That Six of Cups is, I feel, a friend that you've known for a while, okay? Um, Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. There's going to be healing here and a beautiful, abundant, stable new beginning. Six of Pentacles. Finally, we've got equal give and take happening here. So this is really beautiful, Aquarius. I mean, this is the epitome of the Death card, truly ending something and moving towards to um, moving towards a new beginning. Um and I don't know where you stand here, Aquarius. I don't know if you're the one getting out of a bad situation and moving towards this friend. I don't know if you're the friend. If you are, stay in, you know, hang in there because you're going to win. Um, you know, I don't know where you stand, but there is something definitely beautiful that's going to come out of this by the end of the year. Okay. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon. Happy New Year.